Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sarah Pavin, an Olympian and beach volleyball world champion and a longtime professional indoor player. And I'm Adam, former indoor player and coach, current beach volleyball coach, and most importantly, Sarah's husband. He's sounding less and less excited to say that ever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It's just because I'm losing in the draft poll. Barely. I can't even talk about it. We're not talking about it. It's okay. making me too upset. I needed to take a deep breath after thinking about that. <laughs> um, today we're watching season two, episode two of Haikyuu called Direct Sunlight. Last episode, we had the iconic meeting of Ushijima with Kageyama and Hinata in the classic line, I'm Hinata Shoyo from the concrete. I love that line. Tell me that's on a t-shirt somewhere. I flip and hope that somebody has made a merch line with the best sayings from Haikyuu because that has got to be one of them. Um, we saw that the boys are super, super motivated. They were not letting the ball hit the ground even in practice. Okay, they want this. No more messing around. Um, and then, of course, the meeting with Ushijima where he basically... Dismisses them. Dismissed them and was believing his team to be the most elite, which they have been. Yeah, there's a there's at least a history of performance there to make him think that. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I know what happens. Adam will see what happens. I'm assuming they get to play in the next qualifier, like in the next tournament, that they will play that team. I don't know what's gonna happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like you're looking at me for answers that I'm not ever about no, to No, I thought give you me. were just gonna engage in my statement at least a little bit. Okay, what if they don't? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Moving on. Alright, here we go. Season two, episode two of Haikyuu is coming right now. テストあるの。わかるよね。わかるよね。で、予想はついてるかもしれないけど、赤点の強化があった場合、is <笑> failing in Japan like 90%? <場合によっては夏休みにも入る。遠征は物理的に無理なんじゃないかね。笑> え、何でですか?そっから。そっちが優先だよ。そこまで思い詰めなくても多分大丈夫だよ。俺、小テスト2桁以上の点数ほとんど取ったことないですけど、大丈夫ですか?え?おい、お前らご殺害をやめろ。先生もしっかりしろ。ハビ教官。ロト
He's gonna make sure everybody makes it. They're gonna they're gonna end up tutoring them to make sure they pass. Cause Daichi and Suga seem like legit students. Like I'm gonna guess they do well in school. Oh, they seem pretty smart. Yeah. yeah. Tsukushima seems smart. Yeah. Um, Tsukushima's not helping anybody study though. No, he's a jerk. <laughs> <laughs> um. Of course, Ukai. He does not look like somebody who did well in school. A hundred percent. But they don't have a look. There are some people who really surprise you. That's fair, but I mean, I think if you were gonna put money down on Ukai's academic career, like it wouldn't have been that he did well. Who do you, between us, do you think did better in school? You just want to pull that you're gonna win. No, they're probably gonna pick you. Uh -huh. Maybe. Well, I'm curious what you guys think, so let us know. This has been addressed before, because I watched this before. Japanese grading system is not the same as North American. I kind so, of figured that. But what is it? I'm such a deducer. Well, forget it, Mr. Know-it-all. No, I want to know. Well, I'm sorry, but when he's like, oh shoot, I've never gotten a double-digit score on an exam, you literally had a heart attack, so I just felt like I needed to clarify. But apparently I don't. No, I do. I actually want to know what the system is, but after my initial reaction, I figured that it wasn't, that wasn't a percentage. Like, I'm figuring he didn't score less than 10% on well, every I'm, one of his assignments. Well, I'm sorry, I'm just so in tune with you that I just wanted to give you some info. Yeah, hit me. No. You know I love the info. <laughs> <laughs> We're moving on. If any of you want to share with Adam, feel free. いいこまだ。まずお前らがこれから絶対に守ることは。授業中に寝ないこと。そっからなのか。根性だけでいきなり徹夜。日中の授業も部活も崩れる。なんてことはもっての他だ。大崎です。お、お、お疲れ。大
1年でやれることを手伝いますけど私たち3年は次の大会が終わればいなくなる目のファッシーな来年とか再来年のことを改めて考えてみたんだ私も自分の仕事をやっておかなくちゃ手伝いますありがとうでも勉強優先ね<笑>それと練習もねみんな最強のおとりに期待してるから The ultimate bait <laughs> Not the best translation that time Hino ta Toi Roku no 1つ目は Toi Roku 次の括弧に当てはまる語句を入れことわざを完成させなさい無慈悲なものにも時に慈悲の心から涙を流すことがあるということわざ鬼の目にもこの棒<笑>痛い目が<笑>鬼にひどいんじゃないか鬼に金棒だと思ったら問題文は読んでないのかなうっせえなもう鬼って見て問題もよく読まないでガーって書いちゃったんでしょほんと単細胞だそうだお前はもうちょっと落ち着けそそっかしいんだお前らなんで一言余計なの<笑>影山も人のこと言えないんだけど全体的にひなたよりできてないんじゃないの英単語の人は自分でなんとかしなよ日本人に英語がわかるかじゃあ東京行きは諦めるんだね影山<笑> B クイック AC <笑>セッター前の地方さレフトバックアタック D、平行、セミ、セッター後ろの時間さ。早い。これ、どのくらいで覚えた？教えてもらった日ですかね。それで暗記ができないとは言わせないからな。大事 taking care of his boys。影山には負けねえ。よし、じゃあ土曜部活の後うちだ。よっしゃ。うわあ、先輩にも負けねえ。だから君はもう少し落ち着きなっても。Oh, 西野や昨日の小テストを出しておやつ国語は基本的に文章の中に答えがあるからよく読めばわかるはずでトイさんノリオの矛盾した2つの気持ちを最もよく表している一文を文中から抜き出しなさいもっと男らしく生きろ<笑>文中から抜き出しなさいあんじゃ問題のボリュームもすんなよ<笑>さあかっけえぜあ,あ暗記ならいけるだろう西野屋四字熟語任せろそれはテストに出るやつじゃないからけあんたたち勉強してんの大丈夫大丈夫ってなんだよ最高姉さんチーズステーキおいゆー今日もかっこいいねあざーすおお邪魔してますどうぞどうぞ<笑>どれ兄ちゃんが教えているか俺うっせえな脳みその敵は一緒なんだから無駄だよおい現役女子大生なめんのにバイトの練習しかしてねえだろう,うるせえ見えないから努力してんだよあと、うん、で泣きついてもしんないかな練習ってなんだ和太鼓チーム作ってんだよ祭りとかになると張り切ってんだよオッケー、今探せ。よーし、ほらやるぞ。東京行くんだろう。はい、縁の下先生。I mean, all of this pretty much just tracks. <laughs> What? Nothing. I thought you were gonna expand. I mean, I, it's kind of fun to see. Like the high school life part outside of the volleyball and like what they're actually struggling with and how easily they're distracted and their teammates. That, sorry. Good looking sister. I love that we met another character、yeah. in Psycho. Does she, does she come back or is that like a, is she a one hit wonder? Am I allowed to say? She comes back. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, they, it's so weird to see them in normal clothes、yes. or house clothes. Because they're always in team uniforms or gear. I'm gonna say it again. I love it when they have their school uniforms on. I do. I really like that. So, then what are they? Well, they would be studying like the equivalent of what? English literature? 
Is no, it just seems like it's like reading comprehension. <laughs> <laughs> like that's what it seems to me. Uh, yeah, fair enough. Um, it's tough stuff. It's a it's a whole group effort here to get these four together. Tokyo That's cute. Yeah. まあ、ぼちぼち。商用たちはこっち来るんでしょ。三組の西の山ですよ。やればできるんですな。東京遠征が現実的になってきたかも。あとは清水さんの方がうまくいったかな。あの、ちょっといいかな。新マネージャーの勧誘。I kind of figured that's what she was getting at. I had not what I asked you and you didn't give me anything. No. Come on now. After, after the conversation with Hinata about what she was doing and him offering to help. Like when you first paused it, I, I had no idea. And then after the conversation I was like, mm, she's looking for somebody to look after the boys after she leaves. Like she's invested and feels responsible for them. Dang, I should have asked you this a minute later. I just like that they're introducing some more female characters. Yeah. Do we, I don't know if you're allowed to answer this, do we see more of the women's team moving forward or is it, is that always just kind of like a little bit of a side story? I would say more of a side thing. Yeah, okay. The focus is definitely Karasuno boys. Yeah. They think literally everybody's pretty. Oh, never mind. Like, don't think you're picking up. No. I was trying to read the top and the bottom of the screen. She looks like a little puppy. <laughs> they worship her and I yes. love it. Yes, they do. <laughs> She's only two years older than her. <laughs> 
So that's Yachi. Yachi. I'll put that in memory banks. Initial impressions? I mean, she seems like a very timid and scared first year, but I think I have a feeling she's gonna come into her own and that she's gonna she's gonna run the show as soon as she's done. I think Asahi will probably always scare her. <laughs> <laughs> he scares his opponents. They think he's like a grown up. Dude, there were all there's always like one guy on every team who you played against who was like a full blown man before you were you know, whatever. That full, is not a thing in girls. <laughs> No, but but with guys it's different. Like you show up, especially like from fourteen to seventeen. Like you show up at fourteen as a spindle, and you're playing you're playing against a dude with like a full set of shoulders and facial hair, and you're like, what is happening here? <laughs> That's sad. <laughs> no, it's it's just, and and I feel like girls, I think generally hit puberty earlier. So like by the time you guys get to like the end of high school, like everybody's probably like kind of gone through their growth spurt. For guys, like some guys go through their growth spurt in grade nine, like me, and then some guys like all the way till grade twelve. Like my brother was like five four until grade twelve, and then he hit like six feet. But like for all of high school, he was a midget. And just, no, if you're five four, it doesn't mean you're a midget. Maybe just an Adams family. Yeah, sorry, my family's. <laughs> Really tall, so well, that's yeah. In the volleyball contest, never mind. I sunk myself there. Just keep digging. Yeah, let's let's hit play. Why is he walking like that? I don't know. 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 I do the anxiety is real. ちょっと。ちょっと。私で良ければ。本当に。うん。でも果たして眼鏡のっぽさんより優しく教えられるかどうか。すごい心配ない。すげえ。なるほど。すげえ。いや、あの。やつさんのノートってすごい見やすいね。絵も上手い。お母さん
Yeah, my boy. Ooh. Oh dear, that's. She doesn't know. No, I know, but like. It's just a blow to the ego. Well, you know, it's happened a few times to him. <laughs> I know. I know. But it's just like... It's like the tall thing with you. Like, people say Which to one? you... What? <laughs> people just, like, make comments about your height when you go by. And, and everybody says it. And then it's like, uh, again, like, I've heard this before. And for him, it's like, oh, you can't play. You're short. Like, it's just like, it's just a stab. Every but time Yashi is just so no. sweet. Yeah, She's I get. so like clearly anxiety ridden and so thoughtful. She measures everything she does. Like, oh, from her, I feel like no, there was no. But like, think about you're in grade. You're like a first year high school boy. Clearly finds her attractive and is like. What makes you think that? They, I thought they all thought she was cute. That was kind of the impression I got from the interaction. What do you mean? When they introduced her at the gym. Asahi was just trying to be friendly. No, I know, but like... Noya and Tanaka stare and drool over any girl right. that walks by. But I'm, I'm just saying, it's like, you gotta remember back to that time where you're not thinking about somebody else's perspective. He's like, he's starting to chat with her a little bit. I, I was actually wondering, like, which one of the guys is gonna, like, potentially want to date the manager. Well, Kyoko's not with anybody. No, I know, but she seems out of everybody's league. She is. She's a queen. So, it was just like, you're talking, they had a nice little conversation going, and then all of a sudden, like, are you the manager? Like, that's just, it's just a hit to the ego. That's what it is. She hasn't seen him jump yet. <laughs> He's a regular. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> just had to stand up and for that long. Biggest compliment <laughs> I love the eye expressions in anime. Kagama looks like he will get good grades if he chooses to put his mind to it. He's smart. Oh. That's gonna make her feel more comfortable. <laughs> this is definitely a Japanese cultural reference. Absolutely not. What do you mean not? <laughs> Don't you know the feeling of like when you've been in the sun all day? Yeah, and fair. you're just completely drained. Yeah, but I, I was, I guess. My thought was, like, in general, in Asia, they're very conscious about, like, skincare and sunlight. I, w I didn't know if that was, like, a cultural, like, saying. Like, that wouldn't be. Like, oh, no, I didn't put my sunscreen on, now my skin's gonna get wrinkled. <laughs> no, and I just, like, if you were feeling drained and exhausted in North America, I'd, I feel like the saying wouldn't be, like, I feel like I've been out in the sun all day. Maybe, I don't okay, maybe I'm going, maybe I'm sideways on this. I was, I was wondering if there was like a, cult, a more cultural context behind that phrase. Like if it was slang or something. Feel free to take this one, you guys. For me, it's like, oh yeah, when you're out in the sun all day and you come back, you are so exhausted, you just pass out. And it's just like, well, actually there's a double meaning because Correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but you've taught me a lot. He, from Hinata, 
is in reference to the sun. Oh, okay. So it also has a double meaning tying in that interaction to Hinata, who also has a very sunny disposition. And so that, to his name, to her clearly introverted nature, and just being exhausted after that social interaction. Fair enough. Thanks for this. Was it good? Was I right? <laughs> Third of them right. <笑>シナタの<笑><笑><笑> Not to you two idiots. That's what girl talk. <笑><笑>昔は全国大会行けるくらい強かったの。全国でもここ数年は落ちた競合を飛べないカラスなんて呼ばれてきた。おお、ナイスカバー。今度こそ行くんだ。She's invested. Yeah, man. Remember that fly bear? Yeah. So different from me, she said. Asbestos,急遽大喜利試行校から練習試合の申し入れがありましたので、お受けしました。インターハイ予選を見て、ぜひとのプロでした。Good reputation. This episode makes made me so happy. It's a fun episode. It's lighthearted. You kind of see some of their like personality off the court, which is cool. Mm -hmm. Introduced to a couple new characters. Uh, new team manager who's going to be kicking around, you assume. Um, yeah, it was good. It was it was a light, kind of fun episode. I feel like season one kind of started like this too. Like, just kind of building a foundation before it really takes off. Um, so I feel like that's what these first couple episodes at least have been like. Just kind of get our footing again. I love that the female characters are getting a little more airtime because like Kyoko was very very much in the background yeah. last season. She had her one moment with the fly banner and that was about it. I feel like it's been easier to like enjoy the first couple episodes. I felt like there was just so much coming at me at the beginning of season one like mm -hmm. meeting all the characters, trying to remember names, like it was it was just a lot, but now I don't have to think so hard mm -hmm. about that, and you can just kind of enjoy the show a little bit more. I would say. Yeah. Um, so no, it was good. It was fun. I'm excited to practice match next time. Um, so we'll see how they look. You get the impression from the little volleyball snippets that they're really getting better and that they've been working hard. I don't again. I don't really know how much time has passed, so it's hard to know like what that length is but you get the impression that they're much better yeah. at least that's kind of what i'm getting 
And are those four going to get it together and be able to go to Tokyo, or are they going to have to stay behind? And then the whole team will probably have to be punished because it's not like they have a plethora of players. True. <sighs> Let us know your thoughts, especially on Yachi because she's such a cutie pie. A little high strung little cutie pie. Um, yes. Put them in the comments below, please. We ask some questions, as we always do, and we know you're good for the answers. Somebody answered my question that Sarah just refused to answer. Uh, as always, I'd be so happy if you would like this video, subscribe to my channel, and stay tuned because Town Person B is coming next week. Bye.